Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is just going to be a real quick one. So, if you've updated th your NES Mini theme to the new version by Ruckage, you might have that issue if you had Turbo Graphics set up and your Sega Genesis set up to show instead of Mega Drive and PC Engine. So now you probably have duplicates. Um, very likely that you do if you'd already preset it up. So as you see here, I no longer have duplicates. I have TurboGrafx-16, I don't have PC Engine, and I have Genesis without having the Mega Drive showing on there. Now, for some people, they might not care because they both, you know, essentially lead to the same thing. Um, it doesn't really cause a duplicate. They just are two icons that lead to the same path. But in order to fix that, very simple, quick step. First thing you're going to want to do, and there's, there's other ways to do this, but this is just one of the ways I do it. Go into File Manager. Now, in File Manager, you want to make sure you have a keyboard attached. On the top here, we're, we're in Home, Pi. We want to go back, and then go up, and go back again. We want to go to ETC. And then down in ETC, we want to go to Emulation Station. Boom. Now, this is our Emulation Station Systems config file. We want to... You could just win S SCP into this or do it the way I'm doing it. I'm just going to do it over network. Essentially, I just take the file that I want to do or fix, find a place to just throw it on that I can easily access over the network. So I'll just throw it in the splash screens. No big deal. Just tab back over. Tab will you know, bounce you between the two sides. So I have this side set to splash screens. Like I said... Other ways to do this, don't knock me. This is just the way I do it because I do it fairly quick instead of going through WinSCP and whatnot, but you can easily do it that way as well. So from here, our ES systems config, hold your shift button to select it and press down, and now it's gonna be highlighted yellow. So that means that is the selected file. And then we will wanna press F5 to transfer it over to an easily accessible place if this is the route you're going to take. Hit OK. It's going to tell me that the file already exists because I've already done this. I'll just say, yeah, go ahead and copy that bad boy over. And then from there, we're going to want to access that through our PC. So let's take a look. OK, so now once you're on your PC, you're going to want to go to network from network you're going to want to select RetroPie. if it prompts you for a username and password it should be username is pi pi and then the password would be raspberry so let's open that up now once i'm in here i put that file on splash screens like i said just the way i do it don't knock me that's just the way I do it to get quick, easy access on the fly. So I'm going to open up splash screens. And now I do have my emulation station systems config. Now you can edit this in Notepad, but I highly recommend downloading Notepad++. I'll put a link in the description. Just makes it a lot easier to manage these types of files. But we're going to go ahead and right click on her and then edit with Notepad++. Okay, so now that we're in Notepad++ and we have the ES underscore systems dot CFG file open, <clears throat> you're going to want to scroll through here until you find Mega Drive. Now, you'll have, don't delete this one. I've already deleted the file, so I'm just going to show you this as an example. But where the system bracket starts... And then it'll, it'll end down here. That's all the information for your system with an emulation station. So the one that you're going to want to delete is not the one that says Genesis. It's going to be the one that says Sega Mega Drive. Now, our Genesis does have to have the Sega Mega Drive, you know, and the, all that 
you know, listed in there, the platform and whatnot. But as long as the name is Genesis and the theme is Genesis and the full name is Sega Mega Drive and the platform is Mega Drive, that is good. So you want to find the one that says Mega Drive in the name bracket up here and just completely delete it from system all the way down to the end system and just simply delete. Boom. Delete it. It's gone. Do the same thing for PC Engine. Find that. Make sure the name doesn't say TG16 because that's the one you want to keep. So as an example, this is our Turbo Graphics one that we want to keep. You're going to delete the one that says PC Engine in this spot. You'll simply delete that. Delete the one that said Mega Drive in the name spot. Those two are gone. File, save. You're good to go. Everything's ready. Reboot emulation station. And those two extra systems will be gone. Now, you can also do this to manipulate your themes in order to, you know, as long as the theme has, has the Genesis or Turbo Graphics, you can just simply go in here. And instead of doing what we did, which is just a, an issue that people are running into with the NES Mini theme, that was, you know, if they already had the Sega Genesis and the Turbo Graphics set up. But if you hadn't already done that and you wanted to change it, it's just a simple, a simple thing of going to these and just editing them. So if you didn't already have Genesis in here, you can just go to your Mega Drive one, change the name to Genesis and change the theme to Genesis and boom plain and simple nothing to delete nothing to add you're good to go now everything will be Genesis instead of you know Sega Mega Drive or Turbo Graphics you know or PC Engine instead of Turbo Graphics so very simple to do make sure you, you save everything there is a backup file of this in that that folder we looked at in the file manager so if you screw anything up and you get lost you still have the backup that you can just rename to the essystems.cfg and you'll be good to go so just make sure the backup you keep and don't don't change anything in that just change this this file and you'll be good to go so i hope that helps just want to do a real quick short one because a lot of people asked Smash that like button, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and I'll catch y'all next time. Boom!